I can't clearly recall whether that's happened yet, but I'm pretty sure that intro video was playing Crystal Glacier's music when we are in Zephyr. And clearly you can hear that the stage music is different. That's interesting. Anyway. Okay, Spyro. Look <coughs> like got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. You know, because volunteering doesn't work in the way of you volunteer, volunteering works in the way that we volunteer you. But anyway, yes, we are now here to take on the Breeze Builders. A later level is going to reveal just how silly that is. Keep an eye out because those birds uh, are feeding these birds with ammunition. What happens if there's no one to give the ammunition to? Well, then uh, they give it to you. <laughs> of course, there is still a bird there that can use this ammo, so we're not going to be attacked by those ones yet. But these ones here? I think one of them just dive bombed me. Alright, I do want to take these guys out, so. There we go. I think there's one left over back there, but I'm not going to go after him right now. Sergeant Tub. It's a pretty fitting name, isn't it? I've found these cannons to be a bit wonky sometimes, but in this level they seem to work well enough. There we go. Right. I'm going to get the full mileage of this cannon because I don't think... Well, wait a minute, I do have to walk back here later. Oh well. Let's just deal with this right now then. But yeah, we will be returning to this part of the level later, spoiler alert. And um, unlike Crystal Glacier, this isn't that tiny a level. But, here we go. Ooh! Yeah, I find these enemies kind of interesting because they burp out TNT. <laughs> you stop up on that sort of stuff to do that with. Never much less, actually. I like this as well. This is... <laughs> I just find that funny to watch. <coughs> so yeah, the enemies in this level I think are nicely varied. I like the level enemies in this design in this level. I'm still not a fan of Zoe. Alright, now we could go there without shooting that guy, but I think it's simplest if we just blow him in some range right now. There we go. Also shoot this right now. Okay. We are not going down there yet. I'm kind of banzaiing this whole thing. I'm rushing my way through. That is not the approach you should be taking. Because you see one more hit and I'm dead. You might actually see a death. Ah. 
There we go, that's how it should be done. Now, those guys over there I still want to take out first. So, let's just go ahead and do that. There we go. Oh, wait. We can do more with this cannon! And you see that building there? Uh, let's just bombard it, yeah? Yeah, what was going on there is I was still hitting the circle button to attack that build, uh, fire the cannon, so... That guy was basically getting bombarded by me. <laughs> this guy's explanation for surviving that explosion is, um... Interesting, to say the least. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh. Yeah, that frying pan saves him. <laughs> Just no. Just no. And even their talisman is a bomb. Oh shit, I didn't mean to leave. Okay, we're going back in in a moment. I didn't mean to leave. We're not done in there yet. Go back in. <laughs> it does let me show something. When you revisit a level, I don't think I've done this before, you can replay the intro. So yeah. A little bit of a mini theater mode, but now it means we have to take out all these guys again. There we go, I've lost a life. Alright, let's just go ahead and wipe out these guys again. Because there is a power-up we're going to be needing to use. Oh, we missed a gem anyway. Get off that cannon. You've already told us this. Alright, there is one good thing about this. We don't actually have to go back for that talisman. So that's a bit of a that's a big plus. If we had to actually do, if we did have to get the talisman back again, that would be really annoying. <laughs> but we don't. So do you know what? That route over here, we don't even really need to go there at all. I'm still going to open it up just in case I did miss something. But we don't need to go that way again. Because we've already got the talisman. Instead we can focus on down here. And this area is uh, not quite that much fun. See all these elephants walking around, they're part of the reason. Um, I do like that there's a lore world though. I do like that it's not all lore and stuff and that there's these elephants just trying to make do's. I don't know if those bombs up there are going to, uh, birds up there are going to dive bomb me. Alright, let's talk to this person. My god, little Bo Peep looks awful. What happened to her? But yeah, it's a bit of a fairy tale thing going on here. So, what we've got to do is we've got to get these guy these guys back into the pen. Through abuse. <laughs> They're not evil. They do actually walk away from Spyro, which not a lot of people mention. 
flame also gives them a shorter jump. That becomes important later. They also will walk off of an edge. It's almost never a good, it's almost never a better idea to flame them than it is to charge them though. The noises that may, they make, I used to laugh at these things all the time when I was a little kid. Okay, so we've got to get five elef uh, five of those in there, okay? Where are the rest? My naturally all over the level. But we can deal with that. What's this thing here? Well, it's not important because we've got this thing here to rescue right now. <sighs> I don't like these guys. I like the challenge. The challenge is alright enough. Oh. Get him there for now. There's a reason I'm not going ahead and bringing him all the way back yet. There's another one here. Ooh, the professor. We'll talk to him later. Because we'll be coming back here to speak to him. Don't worry. Priority first is this thing. Right, we need these things to walk all the way to the edge. So, and then... He's a charge to get him all the way across that gap. Something that does annoy me about these things is that they will try to walk back to where they came from. Which means that this guy is blocking my attempt. Yeah, I got them both here just so I, so I could show how annoying that is. That they're trying to walk back to where they came from. Like I said, well, they will run away from Spyro, so at least we've got that. <coughs> Alright, walk all the way to the edge, walk all the way to the edge. They are nice enough to stop at an edge. Great, where's you? I don't think I've commented on Zephyr's um, music yet. I like that music uh, quite a lot, just listening to it right now. That's part of the reason I've not been saying anything throughout a lot of these levels. I'm just sitting here listening to the music whenever they're on. Um, my old account, Iblitazer, I made it a mission to extend all of Spyro 2's music, and I failed. I've noticed a fair few songs that I haven't extended. Um, although mostly they're short little jingle things, like I count the Colossus chanting as music. And I count the uh, song that plays while the Bone Man is um, dancing as music too. Oh, you asshole. Get in there. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something. Yeah, shut up. We got you all your things back, so now we can move on to the next orb.